appreciate your service, and we definitely thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule to come and interview with us today. Let me ask you uh, before you go to tell us a couple of the, of the things. I know, know you, you did a lot of things, but just tell us a couple of things that, that brought great joy to you in, yeah. in, as your work in being a commissioner and serving the public. Just tell us a little bit about that. The most joy thing I have is really getting the courthouse to talk to me. I can kind of repeat the question. I just repeat there. Yeah. The okay, question. the next thing would be to the seeing that the college here was going good and the hospital going good. That was two main things was in our pocket all the time. Mm -hmm. So during your career as commissioner, Baldwin County Commissioner, the uh, projects that brought you most joy was uh, your uh, contribution to Faulkner State and Thomas Hospital. And the highway department. And the highway and the roads department. roads and bridges. Yeah. That was the main thing. That's good. That's good. Okay. Anything else you want to ask? What's coming from you? Tell us what you want to do. It's going to, people are going to watch this on the air at home, and just what would you like to tell the, the citizens public? of Baldwin County? The citizens of Baldwin County. I want to tell the citizens of Baldwin County. I appreciate working for the county. I enjoyed it. I met a lot of good people. There's no community in the county that I can't go in and know somebody. But it's getting thinner and thinner. Everybody's getting older. But I enjoyed going around the county, and going to the rallies at night. We had. 25 to 30 rattles every election year. We had 28 farmers clubs in the county and about 10 FFA clubs in the county. So we had plenty of activities to go by and see why you was going, what, who was doing what to grow more. But that was my goal, just see the county open up. And I, all of us served that time wanting to see that, see the county open. And one other thing I want to add, you, all, you know that Baldwin County is very rich in history. Correct. Well, in our timber industry and in our agricultural industry, is is ironic that you went into the uh, farming and and B and B pecans. That kind of ties into the rich rich history of Baldwin County. Do you want to say anything about that? Well, that's the big. It, it continents have been big in Baldwin. It's, it's considered agriculture, mm -hmm. and North Baldwin's always been considered lots of timber ground. Right. And we've had lots of officers and county commissioners always served from North Baldwin. Has done a good job. We've had superintendents from North Baldwin have been good. So we've been fortunate all the time to have good people trying to get things done that the people wanted. And when you go to these party rallies at night and go to a place, you could pick up a lot of things that was going on in the community and what you needed. And most of the time it was a father and mother situation, what you want. Your mama lived in town and you couldn't come see me because you couldn't get the road fixed. Or the bridge was out, you couldn't get to town. It was half of those days to get all as many roads we had built in those eight years that we was under captive county. It really paid off this kind of growth okay. in North and South Baldwin. We probably got more roads than any other county in the state. And Baldwin County is 1,560 square miles. It's pretty and large. And that's, that's a big county. Larger than the, than the state of what? The, uh, that's Rhode big. Island. You know what, really, uh, you can comment on this if you want to. I've been in most every area of Baldwin County, and Baldwin County set all their spaces out there that we have a place for you, and a lot of foreign people came over here and started farms. That's correct. Mm -hmm. And I know, and some of them even named their farm names. And half of Baldwin County, I'd say, was, was uh, immigrants coming in. Yes. We got we got several big families here to come in and help our culture. Excuse me. We got the the Cordys come in here. The big family it was six boys and one girl. They farmed thousands of acres. Then we had the Bartolos come in. It was the same way they come originate here from from Minnesota mm -hmm. and become big growers and big farmers. Mm -hmm. Then we have the tourists was Greek. The Greek Foundation there. Lots of Greek coming in started big. And you had the tourists and sweet potatoes. So mm -hmm. county grew by being diversified by large people coming in with the large local people trying to catch them. Because they come in and bought some of the prime land. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, that's good. That's good. Yeah. It is a rich, you know, I'm from Mobile, and uh, I wish I lived over here. I may hit. <laughs> but... Uh, I, I have enjoyed, I've been in most of the places, and one thing I am probably, uh, we're going to be taking this back up again, is to cover every city 
the schools, the churches, tell all about Baldwin County. That's right. You've got a good point. Good point. Yeah. All the we talk about that. We're going to do that. All mm -hmm. communities have done well. Yes, they have. They've set They've an all, example. They've set an example so others can follow. Right. You're exactly right. And that's what's made the growth come here. Yeah, exactly. Is that. And that's what's made the, uh, the Gulf Shores and Orange Beach area grow. Mm -hmm. They come down here. And lots of them have some come and had homes down there mm -hmm. and farmed in them. Yeah. Which was a good thing because every time one of would come, somebody else would come. But they've helped develop Baldwin County. The immigrants come in here. And the Bishop family come in here from Monroe County, and we come from Scotland. The Bishop originated in Scotland, and they come into Monroe County here. And the Gulf of Mexico, did you catch fish, flounders and fish, seafood to live on, and they come in and two miles and started buying property. All the Bishops owned most all the property on 98 in Barnwell at one time. They left the water and come in. If they couldn't make it on the farm, they could go to the water and catch stuff. That was a big deal, yeah. back in those days. It's a big deal. You could go catch fish and extra work and on the farm to help put your kids in school, buy clothes and shoes mm -hmm. that they couldn't afford. It all balanced out in the long run. But I've enjoyed it, Benny, but I appreciate you, and you have done a very good job setting this up. I knew you could do it. <laughs> you stayed with it, you got it done, and I've enjoyed being with you this afternoon. Yes, amen. I enjoyed going to the commission meeting today. I had fun. I hadn't yeah. been there in a long time. It brought back old members. Yes. I almost cried a couple of times. Oh, it come back so nice. Mm. But I enjoy it. Well, you and Sandra, we know you're parents with three children. Okay, correct me if I'm wrong, Mona, Doug, and Scott and you have grandchildren and great-grandchildren. Right. If they're watching this taping 20 or 30 years from right now, your grandchildren, if you can tell them one thing about Baldwin County, mm -hmm. what would that be? That, that's, how I, that's a tough one. <laughs> Just see what we've done, what Papa's done to try to make the area good, because they all call me Papa and her nanny. And they've all appreciate what we're doing. They thank us for what we've done for them, and and they want to be able to have what we got when they get our age. And that's a two-way sword. It's got lots of work to be put in it. There's very few people who work three jobs like I did for 12 years. I had a business going. I had my farm going, and I was county commissioner. So I put a lot of hours in, and I enjoyed it. I didn't miss many meetings. Cause I love to go hear what is going on and talk to people. And that's how I got lost my information was that, going to big things. Mm -hmm. So you would tell your grandchildren, Paul Paul did his best to make the county better for them. Right. <laughs> that's great. We worked hard at it. And they're still working at it to do it. That's great. Still did. That's great. You think anything else? I'm good. I'm good. Let's stop. Hold just one Hold minute. Hold on just a second. <laughs> 